Yeah, I'm sure you have seen this video before. It's the most famous video that I've ever made and it depicts granular synthesis. This synthesizer that you're watching doesn't really exist. It's a computer monitor and it's a bunch of uh, wires underneath. There are a couple of keyboards on the side and, 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 and a frame on top. So that's not really an existing synthesizer. That's why a lot of people get confused. But look at this. The way this displays the sample and the way the windows opens and closes in uh, granular synthesis changes the sound. And now I'm going to move it to the left. And now I am scanning a different part of it. And it sounds absolutely incredible. Also because you can then modulate it with the keyboard. People were mesmerized by it. But it's very simply explained. As I do in Synthesizer Guru, my video course in 43 lessons and 7 hours plus teaching where I cover all of the possible synthesis in the world. I invite you to watch this episode where I explain granular synthesis so that you can really touch it, understand it and use it for yourself. Let's watch the video. Let's talk about granular synthesis, yeah? Imagine you have a sound that's progressing forward in your timeline and that you start slicing the sound at a certain window of length, right? So you basically start looping it. So if you go like blah, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. And then imagine what happens if you start messing about with the slices that you select from the samples and the way they cross fade into one another. Sounds complicated, but when you hear it, it's a lot clearer. Let me show you this Qubit Nebulae. I think that's how you pronounce it. I think that the best way for you to understand how the synthesis works is that I play some voice through it. I have here a cleaned up audio from one of my videos. So let's, let's take one of these bits. Because the DX7 is an amazing instrument. Oh, I like this phrase. Because a DX7 is an right. amazing instrument. Because a DX7 is an amazing instrument. And now I'm going to sample it. Because a DX7 is an amazing instrument. Because a DX7 is an amazing instrument. Because a DX7 is an amazing instrument. All right. So now that uh, we have sampled it, we start messing up with it. Because a DX7 is an amazing instrument. Because a DX7 is an amazing instrument. So far so good, right? Because a DX7 right? is an amazing instrument. Look what happens when you touch the size of that window. Because a DX7 is an amazing instrument. 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 Right? Now with the start point, I can choose which bits of the sample we are repeating. You see what it's doing? If I open the window a little bit, we are able to catch all of that. Right? But this is when it starts becoming funny, because now you can change the pitch of it. And, I mean, bear in mind, because it's treating this as a slice, now you have many things that you can do with it. You can slow down the pitch of reproduction of the sample, but you also can organize the slices in a way that the, the next slice is slightly forward to the sample, but that means that the sample is stretched around. Let's listen to it how it sounds. Yeah. Let's mess up with this some more. Now we're going to a different type of granular synthesis. Now, you can use a lot of your time to try and figure out exactly what knob is doing what. And that's amazing because, I mean, this thing is very complex and it can do a lot. But what I personally like to think 
of these as instruments. So I kind of start learning how they sound and then I take it from there. Now we are at a different type of uh, granular synthesis and look what happens. Let's reset the speed of this and the pitch. Seven is an amazing seven is an amazing seven is an amazing seven is 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 seven
isn't granular synthesis awesome? Check out my Synthesizer Guru course. It's still on early bird offer for a limited time only. Click on the link in the description, get your course now, and I will see you in there. <laughs>